it's hot i'm out here in midday it's like one o'clock so we're about to see if we can get some midday bass going sunshine there's my baby it's probably been a while since you guys see it <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. I think this heat's starting to make me crazy. All right, guys, here's the other lure. This is called a Rebel Helgramite. Now, and I left a pretty long tag on that, but a lot of people around me fish rebel crawdads and they're about the best bait, you know, pound for pound. You can get catch all kinds of fish. This is a little bitty stream, so I'm going to try the rebel helgramite. Let's see what it do, y'all. fish you know a little quarter pound it's just kind of like all the fish I've been catching this year but a good little fight on crank your drag down crank your drag down and let them fight let them go with it got a little rebel rebel helgramite catching a smallmouth today oh, splash me in the face this fish if you can see it or not has some type of parasite growing out of him and don't look like a leech but I just killed it so Two on today. It's a big one too, man. Check him out—a slab, hand sizer. This is a green sunfish. Got the yellow fins. Yep. Green sunfish, species number two. So, leaving this little pocket right here. That's all this creek is. It'll be a little pocket. Oh, that was a monster. My drag was way too loose. All right, well, I think it was a gar. Something broke me off on it. On the crawdad. I don't use your crawdad. Check it out, guys. I got the farmer out in the field doing the hay.
All right, y'all, just got back to the car. Yeah, I'm just taking the spinning reel because on the baitcaster, the, I had that Yozer crawdad on there. I don't know if it was a gar, but I had about a three and a half pound spotted bass hooked. So I'm gonna walk over this way, make a few more casts, and I'm gonna get out of here. Catch y'all back down at the water. Gosh, species game today. Check this guy out, it's pretty though. This is what you would call a pumpkin seed. Member of the sunfish family. <sighs> yeah, that's a pumpkin seed. Looks like something took a bite out of him there, but check the colors out on that guy. So species number three. Here we go. Good catch. Alright, four catches, four different fish. This is just a common bluegill. You don't really see these in the creek like this too much. You usually catch these in farm ponds and stuff. Fish number four of the day is the common bluegill. Four fish, four different species. And then there you have that. It's the common bluegill, guys. Yep, common bluegill. Check the colors out on him, man. The lateral lines and man, he's pretty. I caught a damn skipjack. That's the first skipjack I ever caught in my life. I think six different species. It looks like a baby tarpon, kind of. It's wild looking. That little bait catches a little bit of everything, don't it? But check out stuff you run into along the creek. Only on the creek, y'all. Hot ass keystone. Ooh, that looks nasty. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. This is it for today out here. I had some fun in the sun. Caught, I don't know. I think I caught six or seven different species. It was a good day. I'm about to get out of here. Call it a day. I might try to get after them again tomorrow. Till next time. Nick, he's looking at you out that tree, Come dude. Did you see Look it? At him. Did you see it? He's just trying to hide. He was driving down the road. Looked over. Seen this little guy. He's kind of out of place. He's heading to like a major highway over there. I think he might be on like a collision course. Um, I doubt he makes it across there. I'm about to do a rescue mission on this guy. He pulled up, he had his head all sticking out. His snapper, I'll show you about the size of my hand. Well, he's about to go on a ride of his life. Take him down to the swirl hole, you think? Yeah, we'll take him somewhere. He sure smells. Much smaller than that guy. I wish he'd take off. Take off. There he is. Turtle rescue. New home. Right by the water edge. <laughs>